G'day, I'm Oscar. And I'm Ranga. We're from True Blue Touring, and in this episode, the other boys go down through Litchfield, and I punch up through the centre, and we meet in Catherine. So after we wrapped up in Kakadu National Park, we headed back to Adelaide River where we went on a croc cruise. Uh, on the croc cruise we saw a few big crocs, 4.5 metre Brutus, Dominator, a few little other ones getting fed, and then, yeah. Whilst we were heading back through Litchfield National Park, Oscar was busy in Sydney getting his new 76 ready to meet us in Catherine. I picked up the 76 and it was pretty trip ready, just had a few mods that I wanted to do to it. Uh, put in a long range tank, a snorkel, uh, driving lights and then rebuilt one of Tim's old winches and put that in. Uh, and then I just did a basic service and changed all the suspension, just ready for the gear and all the bushes and the control arms and stuff like that. Just sort of wear and tear parts because the car does have about 250,000 k's on it. And then yeah, just decided to punch up with Chris and meet the boys. It's a 5,000 k journey and we headed uh, pretty much directly west to Port Augusta and then straight up to Stewart, stopping in at uh, Uluru for a good sunset there and then uh, Devil's Marbles and a few other iconic locations like that. While Oscar was making his way up through the centre, the rest of the boys stopped in Darwin for a few nights and then headed back towards Catherine through the Litchfield National Park on the Renault River track, where uh, Casty gave me some wrong directions and we ended up going the wrong way and splitting up from the rest of the group. So the boys sent up the drone to try and find me. The um, Ranger actually did not make the turn off, so we're going to fly Ben's drone up and um, try and find him. So, yeah. There it goes. Should we be concerned that we are going into the park? So, little update guys, uh, we're definitely going the wrong way. At least we've got unique footage though. Yeah, no one you. else is going to have this. Besides that, it was not too bad. Drove back up with the boys and then we headed back to a camp overnight and yeah. The next morning we woke up and decided to go for a swim in Surprise Falls. Fast Creek Falls. Fuck. Even I know the name but I wasn't <laughs> even there. The next morning we woke up and decided we'd have a swim in Surprise Creek Falls. Uh, we did a few jumps off a couple of rocks into the water and that was pretty fun. Uh, following the swim, we headed back towards Catherine and finally cracked 10,000 k's on the trip. So after 5,000 k's of driving and about five days, uh, Chris and I made it to Catherine, met up with the boys, and then we decided heading east to Lake Argyle. Lake Argyle is a pretty awesome spot and had one of the best pools we've all swam in. It you know, had an infinity pool looking over the lake and Caravan Park. Pretty cheap too and uh, nice grassy camp spots.
went on to Kununurra and then made our way down to the Bung Bungles. Uh, Tim stayed in Kununurra because he had an overheating problem. He wanted to get sorted and he was booked in at the local radiator shop there. Uh, when he got to the Bungle Bungles, we went and did the Cathedral Gorge Walk. Wardy lost a bet with uh, one of the boys and he had to run through the Mangy Water. And uh, it ended up being a little bit deeper than we thought, so he ended up swimming through it. And uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. The view of the uh, beehive area in the Bungle Bungles was pretty awesome from above. Make the girls dance, spill your thoughts, will you? Be the one to take a chance, have to miss, spill your heart, will you? Be the one to take a stand, make the girls dance, spill your thoughts, will you? So driving on the road, looking for a free camp just after the Bungle Bungles and um, noticed a really bad smell and then Oscar got a heap of lights coming on on the dash. We pulled over to have a look, um, took a bit of precaution, ran over with fire extinguishers and stuff because we were a bit worried and um, turns out his fan bell has shattered. So yeah, we will change that now and then pull into camp pretty late. It's already dark as you can see. Always good to have spares. Yeah. So we thought we were going to just chuck the new belt on because we thought it just snapped of old age because we're not, not super sure on the history of the car. Um, and we thought we'd just call um, Paul from Matt Gates Automotive and uh, just wanted to get a few tips on changing these belts in these modern cars. And he, he got us to double check that all the pulleys were spinning freely and uh, the tension of pulley wasn't moving at all. So from instruction from him, we whipped that off. And then it's uh, pretty clear to see that the bearing inside that is kaput, to say the least. So that's the issue, and we'll head into town tomorrow and try and fix it. As usual, stay tuned for next week where we kick off the Kimberley starting off in El Cuestro. I've decided to go coke. <laughs> I tried to time that with the pause, just didn't work. Girls dance, spill your thoughts for you. They don't want to take a chance, have the man. Spill your 